Many of the safe practices that are used with compressed gas cylinders focus on preventing leaks. This is why you should always remove rusty, corroded, and damaged cylinders from service immediately before they develop a leak. If you ever detect a gas leak while you're handling a cylinder, alert your supervisor right away and remove the cylinder from service if you're authorized to do so. You should always test for leaks in the connection after you've installed a new cylinder into a gas delivery system. You can do this by wetting down the surfaces with a diluted soap solution. If bubbles appear, you know that there's a leak somewhere. To pinpoint the source of the leak, wipe off the general area, then reapply the soap solution to a smaller section of the connection. If bubbles don't appear, wipe the solution off and try another section. Keep going until you find the leak. Remember to wipe off the old solution before each new test. Leaking valves can often be repaired just by tightening them, so make sure you have the correctly sized wrench or other tightening tool handy. If you can't fix a leak, alert other employees in the vicinity. They may need to evacuate the area. Then notify your supervisor. If you're qualified and have been asked to repair a leaking cylinder that hasn't responded to tightening, be extremely careful. First, obtain the SDS for the gas that's in the cylinder and determine its characteristics and potential hazards. If necessary, have backup personnel in place to help you. Wear a self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA, to do the work. If the problem persists, take further action according to your facility's emergency action plan.